to back. Tell a friend she got some ass. Bring it in. Bitch, I'm the news. Hey, y'all. So I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about my sophomore college experience. Please do not ask me why I'm standing up. I just felt like standing up today. So thank you. Sophomore year was different. Um, it was not as exciting as freshman year but that's of course that's a given because you know it's freshman year everything is new like it was exciting but it wasn't like it, nothing compares to freshman year period sophomore year it was a little bit more challenging a little bit um it was a lot of changes that i went through it was a lot of um i don't know i think it was like a growing period i guess for me yeah this is not going to be as I want to say informative as my freshman year just because you know you got so much stuff to talk about your freshman year sophomore year is just like oh yeah i'm back at school stuff happened <laughs> or at least that's how it was for me but yeah i would say sophomore year was more of like kind of getting down to it like for real for real like planning your feet more type of thing so basically i went through a lot of changes one of them was that i changed my major i switched my major from nursing to education and i'm so happy that i did it please do not feel you know scared or like you're a failure if you have to switch your major or you're not in a major that you want to be in like it happens all the time and i'm happy that i did it so first of all my freshman year i went into um my school as a pre-nursing student and I went through all the classes and stuff like that and it was just really stressful for me and every time somebody asked me like hey what's what's um what are you studying I'd be like I'm a pre-nursing student but I said like I'm a pre-nursing student like I wasn't confident in it so yeah I had in the back of my in the back of my mind I was just like sis do you, do you really want to do this at the time I that's what I thought I wanted to do and then I I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and at first I thought about switching my major to like child development or something like that but I felt like you know that wasn't going to be enough for me and then I remembered education like I had said like when I was younger that I want to be a teacher da, da, da. I didn't realize how much I really wanted to do it until I got to school about hella other majors and then I came down to education and I felt like that was like a perfect fit for me because my ultimate goal is to like the ultimate goal that I want to get out of life is like mentoring and helping kids and like, you know, be, being that person that younger people can come to and confide in and stuff like that. Like I have big goals, like I want to, you know, I want to make the money and stuff like that. But I want to be able to say that, you know, I help kids and teens the most, like that's my biggest goal. So I felt like education was the way to go for me, but, um, because I had worked in like a daycare setting for so long, I didn't want to do like little small baby teeny kids. Like I didn't want to do that. And my thing was being able to um, connect with the kids. Not saying that I can't connect with you know the younger kids, but I feel like at like the middle school age and up is when like kids start to have the a hard time like socially and like you know mentally and stuff like that. So. I felt like being a teacher from like middle school, high school on, that was like the perfect spot for me. Yeah, so I switched my major to education. I am in the um, education program and my concentration is English, high school English. So yes, I switched my sophomore year and it was the best thing I ever did. Um, other reasons that I switched was because I felt like um, with nursing, of course, it's very competitive like that's a given and it wasn't that i felt like i couldn't do it it was just that i felt like my head wasn't in it like if i really wanted to do it i could but i was kind of like half the ass thing in a way so i would rather just you know take myself completely out of it instead of wasting time and like bouncing back and forth on if i wanted to do it or not i just knew in the back of my head that i wanted to help kids and when i went into college i just felt like you know i'm gonna be a um a neonatal nurse and this and that so I can help the babies and stuff and that's not the only way that you can help kids so remember that keep that in mind yeah I'm really happy that I switched like the education community is like it's small but it's like really connected and like everybody's so nice and 
it's a, it's a better fit for me. So yeah, that was one of the biggest things that happened my sophomore year. I put in the paperwork to switch my major in the fall of my sophomore year. And then by the spring, I was taking my classes, my education classes. And when I tell y'all I loved it, I loved it. Like, I do not regret switching at all. Like, I cannot wait to, like, be a teacher and, like, be a coach and, like, eventually, like, climb up into administration and stuff like that. Like, that's the goal, sis. That's the goal. I feel like the biggest thing that I got out of that that I can tell you all is to, like, really don't question, don't question your path. Like, if you know that something isn't for you, then move on to something else. Like, if you know this is not what you want to do, like, if you feel like you're being forced to do it, don't continue to do it because you're not going to be happy. Like, I'm telling you, I was stressed. I was calling my mama every other day. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Da, da, da. And, of course, she was so supportive. She was just like, you know, nobody's forcing you to stay in the nursing program. Um, you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your money. You need to do something that you love. So she fully supported me in that. And... And if you don't have somebody like that, I'm here to tell you, like, do what you gotta do. If you feel like you need to switch, then switch your major. It's gonna help you. It doesn't, it, it's not gonna affect anybody but you. So, do what you need to do to make yourself happy while you're here. When I did it, it was, I was scared at first because I was scared of what people would say. Like, how do you go from nursing to being a teacher? And people don't realize that, like, teachers are probably the number one job there ever is. Like, because without teachers, like, you have nothing. You literally, like, what are you going to do? <laughs> you have to, teachers set the mode. I'm sorry. Like, parents and teachers, like, they set the mode to me in my eyes. So, like, teachers don't get enough credit. Educators do not get enough credit. And I feel like, you know, that's a change. And I also wanted to be a teacher because I feel like there's not enough, there can never be enough black teachers in the community to me. So, I feel like it needs to be more of a common thing. Not saying that it's not enough now but you know you can never have too many black teachers and I want to be you know the black teacher who who's caring and you know I don't I want to be a good teacher for my students. Going into my spring semester of sophomore year I did field experience and that was where I got to go out into the field and go sit in the classroom and observe the students and the teachers and work with them and stuff like that. That is what really confirmed like what I wanted to do. And um, it's funny because it was um, it was high school, it was at the high school level, but it was an all boys high school. It was different for me because I had never been in anything like that ever. So it was different, but it was really fun. Like the boys, they were really cool. And it just made me realize like, this is what I want to do. Like, of course I was only a couple years older than them. So like it was like me sitting in a classroom as a student too, but um, it was really cool. And I really do suggest like with anything, with any major, try to get like try to get as much of a hands-on experience as you can, even if the your program doesn't provide it. Like try to go out for like internships or try to volunteer, so you can really see like what you're gonna be getting into because it could really help or break your decision and it really helped my decision and like boosted it confirmed that like yes i'm gonna be a teacher i'm gonna be an educator this is what i'm gonna do so yeah that's what happened that's also what happened my sophomore year i got like into my studies like i physically got into my studies and it was like the best thing ever yeah this video i'm sorry y'all this video may not be as long as my other one or as informative but this is kind of like a recap of my sophomore year things that happened i don't know i think the biggest thing was me switching my major and like finally figuring out like this is what i wanted to do yeah that's how sophomore year pretty much was um y'all could y'all saw my sophomore year um i recorded you know so y'all get a pretty much a gist i wish i wish i wish i could have recorded freshman year y'all i wish but junior year is coming junior year is here i will be back at school in a couple days so literally like a few days from now i'm gonna be moving back at school and it's gonna be completely different i'm excited i have good things to look forward to i'm just i feel like it's gonna be a great year i don't feel like it i'm claiming it junior year is gonna be a great year and i'm gonna be here to record for you all you know sometimes i feel like you know this is fun but you know who's really watching it and then every now and get, every now and then i get somebody who dm me they're like i love your videos like you should do this you should do that like keep making them blah 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 like and then it motivates me to keep going so like i don't know i just you know sometimes you know sometimes you feel like you know maybe i should chill on it you know maybe it's not for me right now but i'm not gonna chill on y'all i'm not gonna 
and chill on y'all because I know how many people watch and how many people love it and how many people send me messages. So thank y'all. Keep sending me messages. Keep suggestions, suggesting videos for me. And hopefully, no, really soon I will be back with the next vlog that starts off my junior year at ANC. So this is kind of like a short recap video of sophomore year. Maybe like an update. It was more of an update rather than like advice or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoy and I will be back with another video. Thank you.